What are you doing? Do you need help? From from freezing my balls. not your age, me, me. What can you do, my burning to steal? My name is Eric, and I play drums. I'm Kyle, I sing and play guitar. Hi, I'm Denise, and I'm not in Sea Haven, but hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for having us. I've been a band since 2009. What were you doing before that? Going to school, high school. <laughs> okay. Uh, we did, like, uh, I mean, like every band, I think. Like, we were all, when we were younger, and like random little bands, miscellaneous stuff. Uh, and then when we started this, that's when everything kind of came together. Mm -hmm. Like it was the most serious thing we've ever done. So before that, it was always music endeavors, but never really anything like solid. It never was so focused on a band. Yeah, never. it was. It was like trying, but it, nothing. It just wasn't there. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that was like this was like when we finally figured it out. Cool. Did your other bands sound like Sea Haven, or were they all different? I wouldn't think so. We didn't really. We were. We were too young. We were I mean, genre hopping. We're still. <laughs> I mean, at that time, how old do you think we were? We, we started 16? playing together, like, him and I started playing together at maybe 13 years how old. How old are you now? I'm 19, he's 20. I, I just turned 20, so before the band started, any band before that, we're kind of young, so, uh, I mean, yeah, like he's saying, like, we didn't really know what we wanted to do, so it just kind of ended up, it's like a blur of things. Here we are. Here we yeah. are. <laughs> so. Okay, well, um, the Ghost EP had a really positive response. Um, how do you feel the Winter Forever album has been doing? Uh, I mean, it's been out for what, like a week? It's been out for like a week. A and week this Tuesday, so okay. like five days yeah. as of now. So do you, are, how, can you tell a difference or like are you feeling like a lot of people are into it? You know, it's really, really, really to tell obviously, but mm -hmm. just from people just posting on our Facebook, hitting us up on Tumblr or Twitter, like it's very positive thus far. Yeah, so. we, we were kind of... I think I think it happens with every band, but like when you put out like the first song from the new material, and people kind of don't know how to take it because it's usually always a little different. Right. But uh, I mean, we put the, put some stuff out, and like we got mixed responses, and then um, so we're kind of like curious as to how it's going to be received. But it's only been a week, and at least I've heard nothing but like positive responses. So. Well, inside, people seemed like they were into it, so... Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was That's a good cool. thing. Yeah. We're definitely um, pleased with whatever has happened. Um, were you all friends with any of these bands, like Touche More or any of them, or are you first meeting all these guys on this tour? It's, it's kind of funny. Uh, July 4th, 2010, was it? We played a house show in one of the, a city called Garden Grove, which is around here. Mm -hmm. And we actually played with Pianos Become the Teeth and Touche Amore, and that's where we initially met all of them. Like, we went to in and out together, hung out, exchanged numbers, and kind of lost contact until a few months ago when this, this tour started being talked about, and they asked us to hop on. And it's been a blast so far. And we're only 10 days in, I think. Cool. Yeah. yeah. We never really, uh, like, obviously we met them and, like, kind of clicked. Um, and Touche is, like, from kind of around where we live. We're from Torrance, but and they're from like Burbank, so it's kind of the same area, but not too close. Right. So we don't really like run into them that often, but like at that show, we all kind of clicked, and then uh, and then like you said, kind of lost touch because they are all touring, we're doing our thing, and then um, yeah, when it all came together and we all like met back up for this tour, like it's been a week and we're like very very close. Yeah, because it is early. You still have a while, right? Yeah, we have like what is it like four weeks? Yeah, like five. Okay. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> we have a while, but we've got a lot of bonding close. time. Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, this is kind of a stupid question, but people might want to know: Are you cat people or dog people? I'm allergic to cats, and I love dogs. Little okay. dogs specifically. I love Chihuahuas. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't really. I don't know. I've never been like too like pet oriented. He has three children. You're dead inside. Yeah, I'm just I'm, yeah, pretty much. No, but but then uh, my family got like these two little sister like chihuahua like mixed something. Sugar okay. and spice. Sugar and spice. And then we got vanilla, like vanilla I guess. And now we have these three little dogs running out and then I fell in love with them. So okay. I guess so I got converted. People. Yeah, dog. So keep your cats at home, assholes. <laughs> make me sneeze and make nice. my eyes water.
like it. Yes. I don't like it. Exactly. Um, okay, well, <laughs> do you all have a favorite album that's come out this year? Um, I feel like it's been a big year for like yes. hardcore bands and stuff. Uh, so, do you have one that's come out that you really like? My my top two of the year would be Manchester Orchestra's Simple Math mm -hmm. and Defeater's Empty Days of Sleepless Nights. So those two are just definitely at the top. There's a bunch, awesome. a handful that I, I really, really like, but those two really stuck out this year. I don't know about this guy. Though. Well, I love uh, the new Bright Eyes and Panic at the Disco Records. I love, I, both of them are amazing. I love them. Did you catch Defeater when they were here with Bane? No, we were on tour actually oh. in Arizona. I saw them at Sound and Fury and it was awesome. Okay. Lost yeah. my shit. Did you, it was you awesome. all play Sound and Fury, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And that was your, I'm assuming, your first time playing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, well, what are you doing after this tour? Because you obviously just released an album. Are you going to start writing again, or what do you think? I think we're just here trying to hit the road harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just try to get on more tours? More tours, maybe Europe at some point. Mm -hmm. Back home, maybe over to Australia, hopefully. Just, we're, just tour as much as we can off this record. Like, the next year for us is looking like the road. Right. More than anything else. Nothing's like solidified as of now, but we don't plan to be home for very long at all. You know, like whenever we get back, we're planning on leaving. So. Yeah. so dump your girlfriends, kill your pets. Right, kill your pets. <laughs> your girlfriend's gonna back, see bro. this, man. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah. So we should. Yeah, we should be busy. And then, I mean, okay. I mean, we haven't really started like writing yet, but I mean, we ide ideas have been thrown around. You know. But it just probably naturally to happens to you on tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In downtime and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, we have all of the useless social networking sites. So anything you want, you can go and Google it. I think it's stupid, but useless. <laughs> check it out. I mean, we're on all that stuff. So that's about it. I mean, yes. So tweet them and buy them dogs. Right. Pick dogs. up the new record. Yeah. Or download it off Media Fire. Either way, it works for us. Yeah. Hey, we're Sea Haven, and you're watching PunkWorldViews.com. Yep. I love you, man. <clears throat> that was great. <laughs>